queens welcome to today's video thank you so much for tuning in if it is your first time here i am kenyam somi and welcome to my youtube channel i hope you do stay and you can do so by simply pressing the subscribe button down below today we are doing yet another hair installation my absolute faves <laughs> and i am working with april lace wigs for today thank you so much to them for sponsoring me with this beautiful unit i will leave all the details of it down below in the description box as well as direct links to the unit should you be interested highly recommend this hair is super cute it is super soft the lace is HDing and lacing <laughs> please do excuse that my lighting in my background looks completely different from um, what you're going to see in the rest of the video i am unfortunately low shaded right now so i had to make do with what i have just to finish up this video and yeah anyway remember to give this video a big thumbs up so it reaches as many people as possible leave me some comments down below and subscribe if you're not yet a subscriber let's get right into it <laughs> Now let's get started with customizing our wig this is a raw human hair it is a 13 by 4 hd lace wig and the size cap that i went with is small and the hair texture is straight with the color natural it does have um clips on the inside as well as an adjustable strap and it is 24 inches long in terms of the hairline it is plucked pretty well so you don't have to worry about that if you do purchase this hair but i like my hairline to be slightly more thinner so i am going to go in with plucking and i did bleach my knots off camera as well with plucking your hair you want to start off by sectioning just a little bit of the hair in the front and start plucking from the back you do this just in case you create any bold spots and the hair in front would be able to cover those mistakes that you make you want to move from one side to the other never pluck the same area um, too often because that's what's going to create the bold spots and that's pretty much what i'm doing here I already um, installed my bold cap off camera. I'm sure you guys have seen plenty of videos of me doing that, so I didn't find it necessary to do it again here. And this is what the wig looked like after the plucking. See how the hairline is um, a little less dense than what it was before. I went in with my got to be spray just to remove any flyaways or any hair that's going to get stuck underneath the lace um, while I am installing and you just want to brush that out of the way as well. What I've done there, I think I did this off camera, is I created sort of marks to show where um, I need to place my glue which is behind those white marks. I also just went in and cut sections of the lace so I am able to apply the glue section by section. This prevents um, any mistakes from happening. I am going to go in with my ghost bond and you just want to create small little dots not too much because you don't want to lay it too thick and I am going to go in with my ghost bond for two like with two layers and I used this little tool to just spread that glue out as you can see here and you want to spread it over that line so between your skin and the bold cap um, line as well just to cover that line from appearing through your lace i then went in with my glow dryer on a cool setting and i made sure that that glue dries clear first before applying the second layer and then before applying the wig as well I 
just want to press that down with your comb to make sure the hair or the lace is nicely stuck on. I then go in with my hot comb just to make sure that that glue is melted really nicely underneath there and you can see that parts of the glue are showing the white there but it does dry eventually you won't see it again. I then cut off my ear tabs and I didn't have to cut much off because this wig fits quite well seeing as it was um, a size small and now I'm moving on to the next se section and you just want to do the same thing apply a bit of the glue used use some sort of tool to spread the glue out and make sure it is thin and then go in with your blow dryer and once that first layer is clear that's when you go in with the second layer I actually didn't record that part and then make sure that is clear before you put your lace on. So I am done applying the glue all over my head and now I am just cutting the excess lace off. You want to do this as close to the hairline um, as possible without leaving too much of the lace. And there are parts that you are gonna find where it lifts so there's no glue there and you just go in with a very little glue spread it quite thin and you're gonna blow dry it as well before sticking the glue back down I then went in with my got to be um, spray and you want to do this very very like little not too much um, and just use your finger just to spread it out and let the lace melt even better. I then went in with my blow dryer again and this was with um, a hot setting just to make sure that that lace melts down really really nicely and i've decided not to go with um any baby hairs this time so i'm just gonna melt the lace really well so it doesn't show as much and then i went in with my hot comb just to melt it even further I then decided to go with a middle part so this is what I am doing here is to just section the hair and I'm gonna go in with my hot comb to make sure that the hair is flat at the top and I also went in with my wax stick as well Then you want to go in with your melting band and just make sure you tie that very very tightly in order for your lace to melt even further and while that is happening I am just going to style the hair. I decided to go with curls for today and I also decided to layer the hair. Layering your wigs actually gives it um, a bit more volume, especially if you are planning on curling it. But I did very, very minimal um, layering, so you won't really see the, much of the difference once it's curled. I will go back in later on to layer it even more. And then I went in with my curling wand. This is from Revlon. I bought it at Clicks. And yeah, you just wanna go ahead and curl your hair like I'm doing here. 
I was struggling a bit with this wand. I still need to um, grasp how to use it properly. And then I went in with some hairspray just to keep those curls alive for longer. And I did the same thing on the other side. And we are done guys this is how the hair is looking again next time I'm gonna create um, curls that have a lot more body see how this HD lace just looks absolutely amazing you can't even see any lace there and that's what the curls look like from the back and yeah thank you so much for tuning in guys